Hi, I am Bill from the Tidad Iguana, and I am here to show you how to pot, you know, hold your tarantula if you choose to do that um, properly and to be safe with it and everything. What I have here is I'm, I'm using a very docile tarantula species, the rose hair. I have a container here that I will handle her over and I have a catch cup just in case she decides to bolt. And you want to be very careful, they're very fragile. Um, you do not want to drop them on the floor. They can rupture their abdomen and that can lead to the, their death. I'm going to get her out. Actually, I'm going to put her this in here for right now. And uh, you definitely want to make sure that they're well fed that they're not a you know a new import or anything like that because they tend to be uh, hungry and they might try to bite you as far as it might be a feeding response so I'm just gonna go and check to be just easy ah. <laughs> so you approach from behind uh, I'm going to okay okay so I've never been bit but we shall see So you just gently lift up. Yeah. Don't want to grab them. You got to do a scooping motion. Yeah. And just very easily guide them under your hand. Yeah. And then we'll get rid of this. And you just let her walk. Same. And you do not blow on them because if you blow on them, they can like pretty much freak out. So, mm -hmm. and right. just hold your hands in front of her and let her just move as she wants to. Try not to like have any jerky movements or anything like that. You want her to be calm as possible. Support her body. Yeah, because she flailed a little bit with her legs there when she didn't have anything yeah. to set them on. Yeah, and these are our species that can flick hairs. Uh, they're New World species, but um, they tend to not really flick hairs as much as some of the other, like the brachypalmas and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they're very calm. She was just a little bit unsure of what Well, yeah, because she's first. not really one that we hold. Yeah. We don't really recommend... Um, you holding them just for but if you need to yeah I mean a lot of people want to hold their tarantulas and if once they you know take them home and everything if they want to hold them then um, you know this is kind of the proper way to do it mm -hmm. but it's for the initial approach I think approaching yeah, just be very starting to scoop under the, the butt is yeah safer because when you go from the front they think you're maybe attacking them. Yeah. And she does have like little hooks on her uh, legs mm -hmm. so that's how she hangs on to. And you kind of want to do this you don't want to hold them up because if they bolt they like I said they can if they fall especially from here to the floor mm -hmm. um, they can rupture their abdomen and that can lead to death. So yeah. But we are we'll take her and we will put her Close your back together. Now to convince her to get off your hand. Well, she might do that, I guess. We, wish, we shall see. If you offer her a place to crawl onto. Yeah. Kind of tip her. There you go. Just be very easy. And they, you know, they're... Hmm. As long as you don't seem as a threat to them, everything should be fine, so. Mm -hmm. But that's just a quick... Um, review on how to do that and obviously there are other tarantulas that are a little bit more um, flighty and bitey so that's totally up to you as to how you want to do that but I'm not <laughs> I don't want to do a video of me getting bit by a tarantula so <laughs> but she is very fine she is a very very calm tarantula so